I'm not going to lie to you guys, the stats are not good. The A's are 38-51 and 51 at the All-Star break. They've allowed 69 more runs than they've scored. They have the 26th highest ERA in baseball, coupled with being 24th in the league with runs scored. Finding positives in that? Challenge accepted. We may have the slimmest of margins between us and last place, one game in the standings, but the Angels were worse than us in the first half. Also, the Rays and the Twins have worse records than we do, so woohoo, fourth to last place in the AL. Another good thing about this season is Ron Washington making the magic happen with Marcus Simeon. Simeon's fielding percentage last year was 947. It's 979 this year. Maybe Washington also helped a little by sacrificing some rally possum babies to Jobu because Simeon has 19 home runs already this year. All of last year he only had 15. And also his RBI total is higher than last year, so... Chris Davis also has 19 home runs and 55 RBI. Danny Valencia is also kicking some tookies with 12 home runs, 33 RBI, and a batting average over 300. See, the A's can score some runs before giving up the lead late in the game and breaking everyone's heart. On the pitching side, we have two pitchers this year that have been lights out not giving up a single run. That's right, I'm talking about Josh Fagley and Tyler Ladendorf. Between the two of them, they may have pitched fewer than two innings, but I think that's probably enough time to show how dominating they are. Also, it's obviously pretty easy to make some bullpen jokes, and it's pretty easy for the relief pitchers to create several new ulcers in our stomachs in one game, but we do have one relief pitcher who's kind of been the human version of Pepto for us this year. He soothes our stomach. That's right, Ryan Dole. Dole has gone 44 in two-thirds innings with a 2.01 ERA, a 150 opponent batting average, and 8 walks to 47 strikeouts. And the A's have been really awesome by allowing him to showcase his talents to teams whose fans don't own a ton of stock in Tums, and so he might actually be on a winner before the end of the year. Rich Hill has also been awesome. He's 9-3 with a 2.25 ERA and a 201 opponent batting average. He's also got 90 strikeouts and 76 innings. None of the other starters even have an ERA under 4, so thank goodness for Rich. And again, he's going to make some MLB GM a very lucky man before the trading deadline. I kind of feel like the A's should have some sort of eHarmony page that has all of their eligible players and accounts for all the... MLB GMs who just want to snatch them up. How romantic. And I guess the best part of how bad things are is that we know trades are coming. We won't be surprised. We've stocked up on pounds and pounds of Tums, gallons and gallons of Pepto, buckets and buckets of ice cream, and probably multiple Costco-sized containers of Kleenex. So bring on the trades, A's. We're ready to go.